Hello and welcome to the UK Games Expo 2018. This is Saturday, the 2nd of June. My name is Ken Boyd, but you probably know this because you probably watch our channel lots. I hope you do. Anyway, joining me today is Mark Dawson of... Delta's after that, DOA Games. Yes, I can't pronounce it, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, we just yes, met just now. All now, right. we've just done a little demo. Okay. Tell us about the game that you've got here. All right, well, this is a very simple card shedding game. Uh, I invented it in Saudi Arabia, where I'm from. Uh, cool. Well, I work, actually. I'm from the United States. Yeah. Uh, and basically, the game is um, to be the first player to get rid of all the cards in your game. And you're yeah. going to use these cast of characters to achieve that goal. All right. Uh, basically, the uh, characters are divided into two camps, which are the killers, which I call the killers, and the uh, white cards are the disruptors. The disruptors. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So, so the aim of the game is, is to get rid of all your cards. Do you each yeah. get seven cards? Yes. Well, each player uh, gets seven cards. And the mechanics of the game is you're going to be passing cards around uh, as part of your strategy to keep the other person from uh, getting rid of all their cards. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's quick. It's for two to four players. It only takes about five to ten minutes. Yeah. And. Um, so you've got two different designs, haven't yeah. you? You've got, why, why have you done, you've got different designs going on? What was the thinking behind that? Uh, some people like different things. Um, Fair I, and like I said, I invented the game in the Middle East. Yeah. And so I have an Arabian design, which is for the Arabian market. I also have this game on my website in Arabic because uh, in the Middle East, they love card games. So card games is very big. I introduced this game at the uh, the uh, Middle East Comic Con in Dubai, okay. and it, it sold really well there. So I'm here in the UK at the UK Game Expo to try to get more exposure. So this is your second convention? Yes, my second so convention. So what, what are you thinking of the UK Games Expo in general? Uh, it's, it's, been good, it's been well. I, I've enjoyed it. I met a lot of good people, um, and they like the game. And basically, it's a good way to get more exposure to people who like games, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, particularly card games. Because I'm a big advocate of card games. Right. So not, not necessarily board games, you prefer the actual card Yeah, I like card games more so than board games. Okay. So what what's some of your favorite card games you've been playing? Uh, okay, now I like <laughs> I like Uno. Oh, you like All right, Uno? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm a big Uno fan. Fair enough. Fair All right, enough. now... Uh, the classic. Yeah, uh, but you know, I'm a poker player too. Oh. All right, so I'm a lot of this... So how, how come I beat you in the game? <laughs> I don't know. But you Maybe. did that on purpose. Didn't yeah, you? Well, that's, you know. what, that's what they do. Yeah. They lure you in. You get demo in the game, and then they let you win. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's But uh, so, uh, so I'm into numbers. Right. All right. Okay. So this is why I kind of like design yeah. the game around numbers. But for what I like about this game, it was very enjoyable. Mm. I like about this game is that each one has got a slightly different skill. Mm. Yeah. So you, each one is going to be doing different things, mm. and therefore you have to kind of work out the combination. Yeah. Because you're trying to get rid of all your cards. There's one card here which is the din. Uh, which is a genie type character, yeah. isn't it? And you can't get rid of that card. You have to kind of, you can't pass that on at the beginning of your go. You have to get rid of it in other means. So there's a clever strategy going on there right. about how you're actually going to get rid of all the cards. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, the abilities at the bottom of the card, I kind of got that uh, idea from MTG. Because okay. a friend yeah. of mine yeah, yeah. Uh, introduced me to that game because yeah, yeah. I wasn't a real good uh, MTG trade. I wasn't into the trading card games right. or anything. Yeah, yeah. I was just a pretty much uh, traditional card player, Uno, poker, uh, bridge, yep. spades, yeah, you know yeah. that type of thing. Yep. So, uh, so I kind of like mix the two. I kind of like mix the yeah, elements yeah, of yeah, MCG yeah. with Uno to yeah. come up with this. And where did you get the idea of, of kind of two different types of cards, like the killers and the kind of victims? Where did you get that idea? Uh, MTG a little bit, yeah. all right, because you know, in MTG you have some cards that kill things, and then you have uh, others that kind of just have effects. Right. Which is, so I kind of, and I tried to think of all the effects that you can do in a card game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was my uh, first version, but I do have an expanded version of this game. Oh, okay. All right, and I have other cards that can do other uh, mechanics as well. Right. And it's all on my website at uh, doacardgame.com. Doacardgame.com. Brilliant. So have you got any other plans doing any other uh, uh, expos? Are you going to do any more? Are you going to yeah, I think I'm going to do the uh, one in Germany because someone here yeah, told me about that excellent. game. Yeah, that's, right. that's a big deal. And um, um, one thing I plan on doing in the future okay. is uh, the mechanics of the game are fine. All right, but I'm going to allow consumers to choose the artwork that they want on their cards. Uh, yeah. Right. So right now, this is just the Arabian kind of uh, thing. Yeah, if you go yeah. to my website, I have uh, an African-themed version of the game. Okay, 
but also in the future I'm going to have uh, illustrations for people who are like dogs or cats <laughs> or okay. uh, bugs. Right, so or basically the, they can just choose what they like. Choose they're, the illustration, but the game stays the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that, that is some advantage of some certain card games, some classic mm -hmm. games, where they are re-skinnable. Right, right. Have you played Love Letter? Yes. Yeah, so Love Letter, to loads of different skins on that. Mm. And I don't see a problem with that. I don't see that people are, oh, you know, they shouldn't do it, they're just after money. Well, no, because they, they, they want to spread their game to more and more people. Yeah. And I was just talking to Kedrick, the, uh, just a bit earlier, there he is, he's very kindly <laughs> built, holding the uh, camera for us, on when we were driving up. And we said about how a theme can kind of put you off a game or draw you into it. Right, right. I mean, I don't mind sci-fi, I'm into sci-fi, right. but if there was a fantasy version of a sci-fi game, right. then I'm more likely going to go for the fantasy version. Right, right. So. And, and what I learned by um, um, demonstrating this at the last convention, yeah, yeah. women like different things than men. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. you know, women oh like women like flowers and, you know, kind of different designs. You know, this would turn a lot of women off with uh, warriors and stuff yeah. like that. Some women. Some, some women. women. I was just some about women. to say, but, some women. But my game, um, <laughs> um, but this convention is more like for a niche market. Yeah. But, but this game, it can be played by the general population. Yes, you, you don't actually have to put figures on here at no, all. Right, it's right. just the mechanics. Right. You, you, you don't have to theme it. You, it right. could just be abstract. Right. Couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. So what I guess what you're trying to say without putting words in your yeah. mouth is mm -hmm. that some people prefer more kind of fighting warriors, you know, yeah. and that can be men and women. Yeah, right. You know? Equally though, yeah. some people are really turned off with it. And yeah. they would much rather a kind of maybe, you know, less dogs. yeah, dogs are more kind yeah. of, you know, mainstream sort of yeah. theme. Yeah. So and it's, that, good, it's good that you've got, you know, you're going to give them a choice. Yeah. And then that, that idea came from women who sat at my table who right. never played card games before, okay. not really. So they made that suggestion to me. They was like, oh, I would buy this game, but I would like it to have this in the, yeah, uh, that, yeah. this illustration. So yeah. that's. So you've actually that's got market the, feedback. Yeah. Like, yeah. Got so that was the nexus behind yeah. that idea. Excellent. Well, that's brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for the Yeah. Thank you for the demo. It's been great. That's right. Mark. I'm, oh, sorry. What's the company called again? Uh, DOA Games. Uh, our website is www.doacardgames.com. Go on the website. I have all the information on there on how you can buy the uh, card games, different, uh, different uh, styles, yeah. different versions of the game. Uh, a lot of information on tournaments that uh, I'm oh, going to be uh, gonna hosting be throughout the minute. Yeah, yeah. He's got big plans. Yeah, it's big, very way. big plans. Well, thank you very much for watching. Remember to keep it unreal, especially if you're a renegade.